Das du? This is KR Brickpot, and I'll be reviewing what I believe is the sixth re-release of Hello Carbot Pentastorm. It was first released in December of 2014, then saw a re-release in 2017, but then in 2018 it lost a Hyundai license and this version has been released time and time again ever since. The design and patterns for the most part is identical to when it was first released, except this chat hand is different. And there is no Hyundai logo here, no KBS logo here, and no Hyundai on the cars here, 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 and here. And this is no longer Sonokong, it's all Toy Rock. And here, 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 and here. But I do like how they retain that animation reel, as in the first release. And can I mention how nice, reflective, red and shiny this word mark is? And this axe is actually a modified Korean shield. But that kinda makes me want to say Penta Axe Storm, which is not his name. And having this Torm in this reflective red as well kinda makes it hard to read in low light settings. And the back view makes for a very nice long portrait. Let's see how the very first Hello Carbot Combiner holds up after 5 years of the franchise's existence and continual shelf presence and relevance. Now to open the box, and this is a big box. Look at all this empty space. The only things filling that space that isn't apparent from the windows are these car boots. This box is so big, you could fit two Pentastorm sets inside of here, and then some. Here are the Season 1 Hyundai Carbots in their Emergency Modes, minus Hawk, and here's the Season 1 Carbots in their Emergency Modes. What's the difference, you might ask? The not Hyundai versions have their front and back completely remolded. The Hyundai symbols on the grill are replaced with Carbot symbols, and the back Hyundai logos are completely wiped off the face of the back. Also, it seems the paint on the newer version has a less glossy sheen compared to the original version, and some minor changes in paint tone. And check out that shiny bling! All these cars have nice chromed hubcaps, and in the case of Ace and Dandy, chromed grills. These, these little chrome details really do make the cars pop out a little more. These cars don't have individual robot modes, but I personally don't mind since there are separate toys for that, and these offer a different size of those characters. And at a consistent scale, given that the individual toys are at a varying fluctuating scale. To that end, they scale really well with the current Transformers Masterpiece line. Fraud and Sky can even fit into MP10 Optimus Prime's trailer. Sorry, Vans. Exeunt Storm was a Hyundai Trago Exeunt dump truck, but looking at the real thing, in a line of Hyundai replicas, this comes off as the most inaccurate. The proportions are off. The dump bed is raised to the level of the cab. The wheelbase is too low compared to the real thing. And way of pray tell are the ladders, valves, and switches and air horns. Hmm? But if you're not a model car aficionado, it's still a good approximation of the truck at hand and a nice, imposing, hefty truck. Proportions aside, the elements of the real truck are nicely replicated here. With these nice side mirrors, these windshield wipers, this nice imposing chromed grill with a big proud Hyundai logo. And there's Exeunt is emblazoned here and a bit on the side and right on the side here with 25.5 tons. And other realistic replications like these two different hubcaps and these two little bottom lights and these door details here. 
even though it's looking more like a trailer truck than a dump truck, it's still a very nice Hyundai car. And a nice Hello Carbot bumper plate. But if you really want to play dump truck, you can flip these wheels forward and then flip the legs back a bit to make him take a dump. What exactly is there to dump? You have to flip out these feet to form any cavity and that does not look good and you can't fold it back in. And can I mention how these little wheel flaps are actually attached to some sort of spring? So that they'll just spring into place when you flip it one way to the other? That's some genius engineering. While the other former Hyundai cars just had their logos changed, this not Exeet Storm loses a lot more. Besides the obvious change from a Hyundai logo to a Carbot logo, every instance of Exeet has been stripped clean from this thing. Well, at least you can't call this an inaccurate Hyundai replica anymore. Oh, and the lower headlights on the newer one are unpainted for some reason. Oh yeah, I suppose you can make this truck take a bow. Though then you leave all the heads and hollow stuff. But I've noticed that compared to this newer storm, this hinge on this ratchet is kind of soft and squeaky, while this one is articulated and tight. Not sure if it's a design change or a production flaw. Show accuracy or model car accuracy? You decide. Well, you can't actually decide since this one is the only one on the market now. Now to transform Storm to robot mode. Flip forward those hinge panels. Flip out the feet. Flip out the feet. Flip. First flip out the arms, then flip it these little wheels to make sure those arms stay in place. Fold this back out a little bit. Then fold it down. Turn those very loud shoulder joints. Flip down the arms, turn them around, flip down that racket and arm, turn it around. Split the legs. And there you have Storm in his robot mode. Carbot Storm is a very tall, wide, and stocky, imposing, heroic looking bot. And the now revealed red and yellow really adds to the nice blue color palette. And let's not forget all the shiny bling. He has chrome, he has chrome vacuum metalized chrome here on his legs and on his knees and on his shoulders. And in his little belt buckle there, and especially his face. That's a very nice chromed faceplate. Accentuated with yellow headlights and a blue fin crest. And a red eyeliner. And his stomach area, it has some nice greebling in there, some nice hydraulic work and such. And is it just me or does this, does his crotch kind of look like some sort of reel? Like someone is supposed to pull this out like some sort of toe line or hose line like from his crotch. The feet and legs also have some nice greebling. And the silver painted panel detail on the back of his shoulders really help break up the monotony of the back. But this back truck is kind of unfortunately just sticking out like that, like kibble with no real place to go. But that doesn't look too bad in my opinion. He even has some nice back spine detailing if you're into that. Storm's eyes have some decent light piping. But because the kibble gets back in the way, you can't really use it that much. So you have to really lift it like this to in order to access the light piping. Articulation. The head is on a full 360 tight swivel. The arm shoulders are on a nice, are on nice loud ratchets. The arms also have loud ratchets. 360 bicep swivel. Double elbow, legs go forward that much, back that much. It's hard to do the splits with these panels in the way and there's no, really no way to get rid of them. Forward that much, 
a full 90 degree knee and back and forward ratchet and back and forward tilt on these very very loud foot ratchets and let's not forget the thigh swivels his fists are open but they're not really good for holding anything Storm has all the basic points of articulation including bicep swivels and he has nice strong ratchets to hold up his components for Pentastorm. <laughs> to turn not Staric Sandy into a boot, first take off this roof siren, flip these two wheels, fold this out, fold back this hood, then flip out these panels. Similarly for not Santa Fe Ace, flip out this forward panel, flip down those wheels, fold this back, and the panels. For not Avante Fron, just simply fold out this panel, tab these partially open holes into these little tabs here, push this spring-loaded button to release that hatch, then turn the wrist. Now he's a flying gauntlet or rocket fist. And for not Veloster Sky, do the same for Fron. Flip that out, tab that in, push this spring button, and turn the wrist. And to transform Storm into torso mode, basically flip open this panel. Flip over this panel in two hinged clicks. Fold that chest forward. Fold those arms down. And fold back this panel. And a word of caution. When pulling this back, you'll be inclined to just pull it back recklessly like that. But if you just pull it along like that while brushing against the ridged head here, you can see there's already some little dent marks made from excessively pressing that head to this little somewhat softer plastic. So be careful of that if you're if you're really nitpicky about that kind of damage thing. And turning the head really won't help because then then it won't fit in. Okay, now back here, tab it on the back to attach this foot. Flip up the foot, slide it in here like so, then push the car front in, nice and solid. Flip this foot up, tab it in here. First you have to extend Ace's front, then slot it in, then push it back in. And don't forget to tab these in with these little white pegs. Attach the arm by pressing this button to release the gauntlet, then click it in. Do the same for the other arm. And finally take this roof light from Dandy and then split out those wings, then spread that out to reveal a nice rocket booster. Then attach that on the back. Oh, and I suppose you can spread out this wing pack a bit to turn this ambulance into a flying ambulance. Pentastorm is still a very big, hefty, and solid combiner of a bot. His car boots give him a lot of surface area so he can balance quite well, especially if you flip out the wheels. His car gauntlets really give him a lot of bulk, adding their own details like with these chrome, these chrome engine like things and the uh, other red and silver detailings added to these car gauntlets. And they form pretty nice black wrists, kind of hollow on the underneath. I guess you could also have him wheel the car, but that looks a bit silly. And the back's pretty clean, apart from these two different sides of hoods. 
And that head sculpt is still looking as very heroic as ever. With three translucent prongs like some sort of regal crown head crest. But you can see the storm head peeking out if you look down there low enough. Articulation is pretty much the same as Storm, except the feet are folded up and thus don't have any tilted heels. But he also does have additional wrist swivels. The hands don't do much, but they still look pretty nice. Rocket Punch! I can see why this particular combiner is still so popular and still being released to this day. It has a great aesthetic, a simple transformation, but very solid articulation and durability, and overall a very great first impression for the Hello Carbot line in general. Ace, Hawk, and Pentastorm are basically evergreen characters at this point, being regularly re-released so that a lot of people can have a chance of owning the most iconic Hello Carbot characters. And to older folk, this is a great compliment to any Transformers Masterpiece collection. Is that $300 price tag on eBay prohibitively expensive? The link in the description below might be a better option. Thanks for watching. Please consider liking, commenting, and subscribing to tune in for more Korean robot content. And until next time, this is KR Brickbot signing off.